Hello, this is Mrs. Cooper with the weekly update for the week of March 4th, 2022. Here are some upcoming events. Secondary spring break packets will go home March 8th and 9th. On March 9th, there will be a mock FSA writing to help teachers better prepare for the real exam on April 7th. Elementary virtual FSA night is Thursday, March 10th at 5.30 p.m. I will email parents the link to attend on Google Meets. Spring group pictures is March 10th. Students must wear uniforms for group pictures and a student's media release form must be signed to be in the class picture. Individual spring pictures are on March 24th for grades K-2 to and 6-8. to March 25th, is for grades three to five and grades nine to 12. Students can wear school appropriate non-uniform clothes for spring pictures. Spring break is March 12th through March 21st. School resumes for students on March 22nd. Save the date for our next Atlanta Skateway night, Thursday, April 14th at six o'clock p.m. The following day, Friday, April 15th, there is no school. Here's a message from our administration. Hi everyone, my name is Marie Churchiero. I'm the Executive Director at Palm Beach Maritime Academy and High School. I wanted to take a minute to let you know that on the advice of his physician and due to certain unanticipated health issues, Captain Alejo will no longer be able to serve as Principal of Palm Beach Maritime Academy and High School. Um, we, we will miss him, he made some Good contributions to the school in the short time that he was here. And we understand that as always, health comes first. And so we wish him all the best. Continuing this year, your administrators will remain the same. Your administrative team in grades six to 12 will consist of myself. My name is Marie Terciaro. I'm the executive director and was the principal here for 20 years. We also have Tiffany Powell, whom you all know, she's been here all year and she was here um, last year as well. We have Cheryl Mason, who again has been here all year, acting in the capacity of assistant principal, and Falada Alia Lima. He will also be here and um, we will serve as your administrative team. Also, please remember um, Sherry Cooper, the parent liaison, you can always contact her for any of your needs. And we look forward to a strong rest of the school year. Thank you so much and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Hi, PBMA families. It's Mrs. Smith, the elementary school principal. I wanted to give another big thank you to all the stakeholders who helped us write our CNA this year. I'm looking forward to some great improvements for next year. This coming Thursday, we will be having an FSA night for parents of third, fourth, and fifth grade students. We will be going over the FSA process, what the implications of test scores are, and give you some resources to help your child get ready for that testing. I hope you all can make it. We also have a very great incentive for our third, fourth, and fifth grade students starting from January to the end of the year. Any child who has zero unexcused absences, zero tardies, completes all their classwork, homework, and is keeping good grades and has no discipline issues is entitled to an end of the year trip that's going to be at a very fun location. So we're encouraging positive behavior and we hope to see a lot of our students earn that incentive. Hi, I'm Mrs. Dvorak, elementary school counselor. This week's character strength was enthusiasm. Your child may have this strength displayed in classroom activities and learning, but we try to build the strength by motivating them with ice cream Fridays, popcorn with their principals, and award ceremonies. You will be invited, parents and guardians, by the classroom teacher if your child will receive an award next week. I wanted also to let you know about our week of celebrating next week on the elementary campus. Across our school district, it is Social and Emotional Learning Spirit Week. Our school's positivity project is also focusing on the character strength of social intelligence. I am thankful for our administration and teachers who support and teach your children as a whole, 
by not only teaching academics, but also social and emotional skills. This is not happening just one week out of the year, but every day. Parents and guardians, you should be receiving my emails from our Positivity Project for family discussion questions based on the character strength of the week. These skills need to be taught at home too. I will even be emailing your family activity ideas for spring break to continue our social emotional learning week into spring break. Each day next week, your child can wear a specific color top and jeans. Look for my email from today telling you what those colors will be. We will be emphasizing self-awareness, social awareness, and other relationship skills next week. Thank you for your support in reteaching and modeling good character. Please make sure your child wears appropriate uniforms to school each day. Uniforms are purchased from our website under the Parents tab to the Uniform submenu. Elementary students who sold seven or more items in the catalog fundraiser participated in a yummy chocolate fountain party. Fifth grade students who had no unexcused absences or tardies, no discipline issues, and had all their classwork completed, went on a special field trip to Everglades Holiday Park. The students enjoyed an airboat ride and saw tons of wildlife. They even spotted an alligator. Students loved the show where a man hung over and then hung, hugged the alligators. The students had a great time. Here are the elementary sharks of the month celebrating their achievements by having popcorn with the principal and Sharky too. PBMA 8th grade boys basketball team played a great game last Thursday against Slam Palm Beach. Josiah Merriweather and Raul Brown Jr. led the way with 15 points apiece. The Sharks unfortunately lost the game in overtime. Miss Mitchell's 9th grade World Cultural Geography class is working on how to spot bias in the media. The class watched and read reports from different news agencies the BBC, US News, RT Russia News, and Al Jazeera. Students observed the events happening in Ukraine and listened to what each news agency reported. In Russia, he said that the war will lead to a huge number of victims, ruin destiny. I believe that this war between Russia and Ukraine will unleash to cover up the robbery of Russian citizens and divert their attention from the problems that will affect the cities. The Russian Ministry of Finance has ordered business that trade abroad to sell 8% of their foreign currency earnings and convert them to ruble, or ruble, that's why you know, which is the currency of Russia. The ruble has lost about 30% of its value since the last trading day. And now Russia has lost all national system help when it comes to the money. Biden warned Putin must pay a price. And this was just, um, this just came out in RT.com, which is a Russian news system, uh, today. Biden, Pres Re President Biden stated that Russia is not being fully badly miscalculated by ordering a military invasion of Ukraine, claiming that claiming he trapped strength he never imagined the president could be. And finally, here are some pictures from the Lake Worth Street Painting Festival. Please like Palm Beach Maritime on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you will be informed of the newest information. I'm Mrs. Cooper, 
and this is Bailey. Thanks for watching, and remember, an engaged parent is a great parent.